Uh, we created Planet Hollywood. Uh, I formed a partnership with Keith Gersh and with Robert Pearl. And uh, so this was the three partners. And then Sly's lawyer, Jake Bloom, was also my lawyer and was Bruce Willis' lawyer. And uh, he said to me, he says, do you mind if Sly comes into this partnership? He would really love to be in this partnership. And so I said to myself, this is a good moment where we can really switch the relationship. Because you know, obviously I admired him, but it was just one of those crazy competitions. And uh, so Sly came in, became part of Planet Hollywood. We started flying around the world promoting Planet Hollywood. Became best friends and really put all this the past aside. You know, guys can do that. Women have a much more difficult time doing that. You know, and I, I remember the, it's like a, I remember when I sat there with Maria and 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 they said that she says, why did this guy come around the house? Didn't he really screw you ten years ago? I said, yeah, Maria, it was ten years ago. I said, who cares? I mean, now he's a great guy. He wants to help. He says, I don't know how to do this. I would just kill the son of a bitch. I would just kill him. I, mean, I would never ever forgive him. You know what I'm saying? This is the way a lot of women are doing. We don't do that. We just do not. He says, okay, he just me yesterday, so maybe the day was better. You know what I'm saying? And uh, especially in the business world, you can't do that anyway, because I mean, there's only so many players out there, so you, you know, you don't want to keep paying people back and all this. So, so Anyway, and so we became very good friends, and uh, he started showering me with gifts, and I, and I started showering with him with gifts, and we go to each other's parties. And then when I ran for governor, he was one of the first guys in Hollywood that was there helping me at uh, those fundraisers. You know, one of the things you have to do is stupid fundraisers when you're in politics, because you need the money to run and to pay for the TV ads and for the commercials and all this stuff. And uh, it costs millions of dollars, especially when you're in California. You know, my governor's race was like 30 some million dollars, and I had to put in actually 13 million dollars of my own money, and the rest of it be raised, uh, because it was so fast in decision making that I didn't have time to really, you know, start, you know, uh, raising all this, uh, this money. And, uh, but Sly was there, he was one of the first ones there, and he helped me all the way through, and you know, there was guys like Danny DeVito, also the Democrats, that came in and helped me with some issues environmental issues and children-oriented issues, after-school program issues and stuff like that that he felt, you know, uh, that he was really into. Uh, but there was various different people, but in general, I think it's very hard in Hollywood when you're Republican to get any support, uh, you can imagine. But those guys came in, and uh, Rob Lowe was also another one that came in. But Sly was the first one, the, 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 the two is about that. And so, and so since then, we've had this really great a friendship. It really ended up great. I admire him for his work. He does movies. I admire him as a, as a painter, as an artist. I admire him that he's able to direct and write scripts and produce and act uh, and all of this. And that he has a wonderful family also. Lauren, I know you've got a bunch to get to in uh, just a bit. Uh, we've got a little bit more time, but I want to get to the audience, of course. Uh, we always enjoy uh, hearing from the fans. Right here in the front row is a good friend of mine. He says he does a great Arnold imitation. <laughs> Who's that? Actually, oh, you do? Okay, good. That's it. Just the camera. Put the mic. The mic. Give him a mic, guys. Come on. Where's the uh, you sleep here? microphone? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is the one who has the sun here. Just the camera. The Wolfgang has been up for this today. He's been shown in uh, America for 30 years ago, in California. And I called him to thank him. He was a great example for my son, Christopher. And, uh, Kannst du jetzt auch in Englisch schauen, so dass jeder verstehen kann? Ja, yes. <laughs> I, I, I just speak English. So I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done. And uh, also for my son and the youth and everything you've done in the United States. And uh, we've been coming here for the last 15 years, uh, following you. And uh, the only thing I don't have is a picture of you with my son. And I was wondering if there's a possibility of uh, doing that. Uh, having a I thought you were going to imitate my voice, so you did <laughs> No, my, my son, my son, my son, uh, my son, uh, maybe, uh, oh, maybe your son could do it. Yeah, my son, oh, you made it up. Yes, of course. <laughs> you made it up. It's not a little bit more. You made it up. You can get hold of it. Absolutely. Then 
you just did. It. Like, there you go. We can have you pay yeah. the like, So my my son is like, you can imitate your voice really well right there. So. Well, we I mean, take a big job for this. Okay. So relax. Yeah, don't. No. <laughs> you got it. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here for this year. So uh, it's not so much of a question as, as I promised you some cigars. We had dinner at the uh, at the All Star event, and uh, it was a great dinner. I promised you some cigars, so I have an assorted amount of cigars for you. Uh, I didn't know which one was your particular brand, so I just brought you a few. And uh, we, have, uh, <laughs> we have a couple of uh, Cohibas, and I wanted to say thank you so much. It was a great event, and. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right in front. Yes. This is my 16th Arnold, and I drive three hours every year, and I said, oh, thank you. This is my 16th Arnold, this is Schwarzenegger, and I drive three hours every year, and I stay all three days. I shook your hand in 04 at the Europa booth. I will love you in the picture with you before I leave. Okay. Okay. You got it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's give up the uh, two other uh, ladies in the house. Sure. Small. 
because so many people think that, you know, first they have to go and, and think uh, small, and then maybe a little bit bigger, and then a little bit bigger. No, no, forget all that. First shoot big. Because it takes just as much energy to, sh to shoot for the stars and to have big goals than the little goals. I never was interested in being just, you know, Mr. Europe or Mr. Universe. I wanted to be the greatest bodybuilder of all times. I never had any interest in going uh, to do movies to just be movies. I wanted to be a leading man. And when I got into power, they said no interest in being a city council member or mayor. I want to be governor. But not only just governor, but governor of the greatest state in the union. You know, so that's, so I always shoot for the top, and then you will figure it out and find out if you can make it or not. So, if, because if you fail, there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you get up again. You know, what differentiates a failure uh, from a winner is that, that the failure doesn't get up. Guy that is a loser doesn't get up. He whines and he stays down and he will complain and he will complain everyone else and all that stuff, but he will not get up. A winner always gets up. So, you know, in weightlifting and in bodybuilding, how many times do we do a set where you put some weight on it and you can't do it? Okay, so you failed with that set. Does it mean the end of the world? No, you move on. Eventually you're going to make it with that weight. You know, that's the, the way it is with everything. And so that's also one of the rules. And the other rule is, is, you know, give something back. You cannot be successful by just taking. You cannot be just successful by just thinking about me. The ultimate success will come when you have made it and you're on top. You've reached the goal, but then immediately think about from go from me to we. How can I now give something back and make other people a winner? How can I help those that are less fortunate? So uh, maybe it will come to your neighborhood, okay? Governor Arnold, perhaps President Arnold, that'd be